Bob Ward is a deputy chair at the London Climate Change Partnership. He joins us now for more on this story. Welcome to you, Bob. Um, so South Korea is building the world's first floating city. Is this really the answer to, uh, to coastal cities that are at risk of, of, uh, of flooding and even sinking right now? Well, we're going to have to do something very major to protect uh, some of the world's great coastal cities. They face a number of threats from the sea. The first is that those that are built at, on the deltas of rivers are built on very soft sediment and they're sinking. They compact and they cause them to sink. But climate change is also causing sea levels to rise as well. So both of those factors together mean that they're facing... Uh, an accelerating problem. And that problem is just going to get worse. And so we have to take action to make them more resilient. One way is to build higher flood defences, but there's also uh, options there, as the UN is explaining, for building cities that don't need to be protected by defences, but just simply float. And as long as they're resilient to storms, to tropical cyclones in particular, then this could work. That sounds a very, very you know, optimistic. Um, and can it be built at scale? And which um, cities, which coastal cities would need them first in the world? Well, this is an idea that we haven't yet tried at mm. scale. And so we'll have to see. I think this experiment in South Korea is an important one to demonstrate whether this can happen. This is a problem that's going to last, going to be with us for many decades. So we still have time to test this. At the moment, we tend to rely on flood defences to defend cities, but they simply just cannot provide us with the degree of security that we need. In some places, you protect buildings by building them on stilts, accepting that they'll be flooded. That happens in many uh, low-lying uh, islands. But where you have very strong uh, buildings that you need to protect, then floating uh, might be an option to deal with the inevitable rise in sea levels and the sinking of land, coastal land, due to the compaction of uh, these delta sediments. Places like Mumbai, Shanghai, they're all built on deltas. They face this kind of problem, as does New Orleans, of course. And Bob, just um, you know, very simply, how would it work? How would the, the, the infrastructure work? And when I hear about this, I think of, for example, um, some of the islands that were built in Gulf countries like, like Dubai that have involved dredging. Is, is that uh, similar in a, a technique that would be used here? Well, the trouble with dredging is that it changes the distribution of currents. Uh, silts builds up naturally along coastlines. And if you start moving it, it changes current. So it's a difficult thing to do. Uh, we're going to have to try this out to see if it works. In principle, if you build uh, infrastructure that is well, that is well designed uh, and can float and withstand the effects of very strong winds and storm surges, then this could work. But we need to kind of demonstrate that you can run a city in that way. The important thing about South Korea, that South Korean element is it's also going to help reduce emissions, which are driving climate change, by getting uh, rid of uh, the routine use of, of vehicles that are um, powered by gasoline and more people will be encouraged to walk and to cycle, which will also be good for their health as well as reducing emissions. All right. So we'll be looking at this uh, was first floating city in South Korea as uh, a test pilot. Thank you so much for your time Thank and you. your analysis, Bob Ward.